Looks like Operation A has been compromised. We just lost millions of dollars because of it. Because of you! Look, Dean. My plan would have worked if that guy and his boys hadn't shown up. Yeah, well, the problem is they did. Because they did, DICE had to take matters into his own hands. There was a lot of equipment we lost. We'll never be able to recover it. You understand that, don't you? We can if we just... We? <laughs> you just blew millions of dollars from our operation. Got DICE in a sticky situation to get out of, and blew our entire covers to lay low, and you still think you're going to be a part of we? There is no we left for you. Wait a second. Don't... Dump them at the doorsteps. We need to let them know that they don't know half of what they think they do. Dice's plan B starts now. Where are they? Uh, they are on their way back as they did just get General Black, but- They were sent out to do one task. There is no but. There is no room or time for a but. So has their task been completed or not? Because we have another problem to deal with. Listen, no disrespect, Governor, but they just took down an entire military base with no help or resources from you at their disposal. So I think they can take all the time they need to get back. <laughs> you know, I admire you. You're smart, you're snarky, and you don't put up with any crap from anyone. But now, it's not the time for your cute antics. Not when a body was dropped off on my doorsteps at the city hall. If you want to continue working as a liaison for this FIB team, I suggest you get them on the line right now so I can talk to Captain Black and lead Agent Nicholas Ross. Dad, what are you even doing here? What is going on? It's complicated to explain. You won't really understand. You know I spent months trying to find you? Yeah, I was calling your office, had the bureau tracking you down, leaving you messages and texts on your phone for months. I got nothing back for months. Sweetheart, it's really not something you can truly understand. I did all of that, terrified something awful happened to you. Then, when I'm working a case way off on some secret base on an island, here you are on the same secret base island with no rational reason for being here. So yeah, I already don't understand. So please, explain to me and quit with the it's complicated crap. You know I never meant to make you worry. I never meant to do that to you and make you scared. I've been undercover, Christy. I've been undercover for 243 days. 10 hours and 36 seconds. Undercover? But the Bureau never said anything about- <laughs> Of course they didn't. They either dropped me on the assumption that I was dead or gone too deep in. Either of which would be bad on their part because they sent me in here. As far as they're concerned, I'm no longer an agent of theirs. So you're not with FIB anymore? Why are you still here then? I'm not sure if I am or not, but I'm assuming not, since they left me for dead in here. I was sent in to stop the foreign gun deals. I'm still here because whether I'm an agent or not, I had a mission. And you know as well as I do, that the job isn't done until the mission is complete. Whatever you've heard about this case, it's true. We're at war with our own military. Nah, yes. A father-daughter heroes duo. Kevin, quite rude of you to not introduce me to your beautiful daughter here. Christy, this is Sergeant Miller. He runs this operation. Well, what's left of it anyways, since your team tore it apart, Mrs. Chambers. We have a plane to board now. What's left of my men will gather you and push you on the plane in ten minutes. Plane? Where are we going? What is going on here? Let her go. She's got nothing to do with this. Oh, on the contrary. 
she has a lot to do with this now seeing as she came onto my base. Plane boarding in 10 minutes as scheduled. This is bull. We have to go back now. We have to do Christmas. I'm not leaving this island without her either. That's one of my best friends we're talking about. Not that I don't value Agent Christie's life, but there is the manner in which a dead body was boldly dropped off in front of the city hall. My city hall. That seems like a threat to me. It very well could be another terrorist threat, and it needs to be solved and dealt with now. That's my department's job if there's a terrorist threat. So I will be pulling myself, Agent Taylor, and Agent Justin on this one. You need more help. Let's not forget, your department is limited on agents because of the first attack. I'm sending agents Greg and Riley with you. The rest of us will go after Agent Christie. Marcus, you go back with them. We have a deal with Governor Walsh, remember? What? No, I'm going with you guys. She's in danger because of me. I'm going to help. Marcus, you are in no condition to help us out there. Do you really want to help? Go with them and help them on the case then. But I want to be here going after your agent to bring her back safe. Marcus, I know you are used to being the one giving the orders, but this is my turf now, my team. You will go with Nick and the rest of the agents to solve their case. The rest of us, we're going to save Agent Christie. <laughs> Hook, line, and sink. They will definitely be coming after us now. Hey, I sent them the message, one they cannot ignore. They'll be coming, so tell Dice I said I'm carrying out Plan B exactly as he said to do. I will let them catch me, but he has to do his part somehow and still get me out. Alright, so Justin, what do we have on camera footage? We don't have much, because City Hall's cameras are not as enhanced as we need them to be for a good facial recognition scan. But we did get something. I was able to pull a video from the ATM camera across the street. Look. Governor Walsh was right. They deliberately set their body there. They are trying to send a message. But from whom? That guy looks so random. He isn't though. A random person being sat in front of City Hall like that won't provoke a message. Some random victim would strike up a homicide case, sure. But considering the location of where the body was dumped, they want to say something here and the random victim wouldn't do it. So the victim has to be somebody. Justin. Are you able to scan facial recognition on the video of the victim? Or at least the driver or the guy that dumps the body? Running the scan now. I got a hit. On the victim, actually. The victim's name is Jackson Lee. He's been in for aggravated assault. Pos Possession of drugs, money laundering, and battery? Nick, I know this guy. He's from that biker gang, The Lost. Remember you made me go undercover to bust them last year for money laundering? Yes, I recall. We never caught the entire gang. My question is why him? What message does that send from them? Wait a minute. Facial recognition was able to pull another image. This time it's the one that dumps the body. Name is Mitchell Randall, aka the caretaker. Caretaker? He's known to be associated with illegal gun trades. I've read his files as I was following the trades. He's never been associated with a biker gang, so what's he doing dumping the big spotty? What if they were working together and a deal went wrong? So either our victim was buying guns from Mitchell, or Mitchell was using our Vicks biker club for cleaning his dirty money from the trays. Either way, we need to go view his body. But why? We already see who killed him. We need solid evidence that he was killed by Mitchell. Not only that, but if who I think is involved does in fact have his hands in this, he definitely has a signature attached to his work. He'd have done something to the body. Who's got his body? As records show, Los Santos City Mall, he was brought in a John Doe. Oh, Kevin, I hated him to be this way. We would have made great partners. Yeah, I bet that's what you think. I know it. Oh, 
And by the way, the plan is still in motion. Part B, anyways. This little rescue stunt didn't alter the plan. Let go of me! Get her! Put her on this plane right now! Guys, we have to get him off here right now. Christy, we don't have a way to help him. We came here for you, and we barely made it through that. Tasha, that's my father. We have to help him. Christy, we can have Jade trace the plane and rescue him when they get to where they are going. It's a plane. They have to land somewhere. He could be dead by then. His cover was blown. He's no use to them. What you want us to do? Shoot the plane down? Man, he's really gonna be dead if we do that. Quentin is right. We can't do that. The best thing we can do for him is to not lose that plane and catch them when they land. Don't let him die, okay? He's all I have left. And you all I have left. And my priority is keeping you safe. I thought I lost you. Do you have any idea how scary it was to look around and not see you with us? I thought they killed. Hey, I'm okay, I promise. Nothing happened. I'm still here. Look, I'll get Jay to start that trace, okay? We can only do that by getting back on the boat as soon as possible because our phones don't work out here. Bart is about 18 degrees cold and the blood is coagulated already. There is scarring on his stomach as well that appears to have been from being stitched back up and the stitching has already healed. He's been dead for at least 36 hours if evidence is proof enough. That can't be. His body was laid on the steps today. Footage from the camera shows that the body was laid there as early as 4 a.m. It's only just 6 p.m. now. Sounds like he's been dead for a while and then they froze his body to preserve him. So they froze him and then waited to place him at City Hall? That doesn't make any sense because what exactly were they waiting on? The part where there is stitching on the body is where I'm most intrigued at. Hey, what are you doing? You sadistic bastard. It's as I suspected. Meeting the signature of Deep Sims. So I was able to track down that plane. It was not easy because it is, after all, a military plane. I had to hack into the military base files and database just to get it. Uh, you could do that? Uh, people. Well, that's not like brand new here, okay? This is what I do. Where's the plane headed, Jay? It's headed north, to North Yankton. It's landing at the base there. We have to get there before they kill my father if they haven't already. We will get him. We need a way there first. Jade, we're off that island now and headed to shore. Have another FIB plane meeting us there ASAP. Mario, you will not be getting off that plane under any circumstances when we land in North Yankton. You are wounded. It's not that bad, Captain. Look, it's just my leg. I will be fine. That was an order, Agent. Do not get off the plane. We will be fine, I promise. We will get him and we will all come back safely. But you need to rest. I'll stay put. Just ordered the plane. They'll be out there in 45 minutes. Dick Sims is a dangerous illegal gun trader. I studied his moves while looking into the military's illegal guns trading. 
I thought initially he might have been calling the shots behind the military's trading somehow, but he wasn't. So, we just happen to catch a body that is being associated with a known illegal's armed dealer. At the same time, we take down a military base for illegal arms dealing as well. Doesn't sound coincidental to me. Given that the gun was placed inside our victim, it's a taunt metric. This is definite by the gun deals we just destroyed along with most of that base. That means he's talking to someone over there or he's got eyes over there that we missed. He wouldn't know what just happened over there otherwise. From what I was able to pull about Derek Sims, aka Deke, he's been associated with multiple crimes being at the scenes where they took place. Gun bust, drug busts, fraud, forgery busts, the list goes on and on. He's never been able to be charged with anything as he was a mere bystander at these scenes. He's never actually been seen committing the accused crimes. Doesn't make sense. That's what makes him so dangerous. He does what he wants and hides in plain sight with it. He'll never get caught. Except this time, we have the upper hand on this guy. He doesn't know we have his signature because it's never been caught on to by one of our own. You're thinking his message was about taking revenge for his stopping. Possibly his biggest trade was to the government. We can catch him if that's the case because he won't be expecting us. What's his connection to the loss though? How do they play a part in all of this? It's like Taylor said, they were probably helping each other with their businesses and a deal went wrong. So Deke used Jackson as an example of the damage he can do. I took another look at the camera footage from the ATM video and I enhanced it just enough to get a plate number on the van that dumped the body. I traced that plate number back to the DMV it's registered at to get the vehicle information. I used that information to hack into the GPS system of that van and I tracked the van back to a warehouse in East Los Santos. Good work, Justin. Guys, if he doesn't know we are onto him, we can bust him. Justin, send over that location of the warehouse. We are going after him. I have eyes on you guys, so I'll be watching your back. Good luck. Toss it two in front of you and five behind you. Quentin, three on your right. Chrissy, I think I see your dad. Let me switch camera views. Yes, I do see him. He's up top with some big military guy. Dad, I thought for sure they had killed you. No, I'm fine. I promise. Just a bit rough is all. Come on, let's get you out of here. Let's go home. Let's go home.
Derek Sims, you are under arrest for illegal arms trading and illegal foreign exchanges. Turn around and put your hands on your head. I guess this means I'm going to jail now, huh? Sweep the rest of the place and see if we can find anything. I'll take him back to the IAA base. Governor Walsh, they have the guy who is suspected of delivering that body at sea. Or... Good. I suspect Nick will be taking him back to IAA headquarters. I will be meeting them there. I want to talk to this suspect myself. sight for sore eyes. Nice to finally get a hold of you. Joanne, and what are you doing here? How did you find my place? Is if that's any way to treat the woman you're marrying. Are you going to invite me in or what? Oh yes, please come in. I'm sorry, I just wasn't expecting you to be here. Why are you here exactly? Why am I here? No, the question is why are you here? Imagine my surprise when I learned that my fiance of a year decides to just up and quit his job as a paramedic, leaves the state and show up in another state as a federal agent. I know what it sounds like, but you don't understand. It's not that easy to- You told me. You told me you were coming down here for closure. You said to me that you needed closure and this was the one place you could come get it. I believed you. I thought that's what I came down here for, honestly. That was my true intention. I never meant to stay here. You became an entirely new person with an entirely new life. You left everything behind. You left us behind. You left me behind. Closure means that you need to close a chapter in your life, not open a new one. So you didn't come down here for closure. That's bullshit. You came down here for her. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Don't play with me like I'm stupid, Mario. You know exactly who I'm talking about. The one you can't possibly live your life without, right? You came down here for Christy. That's not how that happened. I promise you, I came down here to put an end to that chapter for good. I needed closure in hell. She deserved closure after what I did to her. The way I did it to her, she deserved the chance to put it behind her too. Except you didn't put it behind you because you stayed here. You are still here. So either you just don't want to be with me anymore and you're hiding out here, or you found your way back to her and just don't want to leave your fantasy. Either you put an end to this thing with your little girlfriend for good, or I sure as hell will. So Derek... You want to explain to me why you so boldly had your associates dump a dead body on my city hall doorsteps? I don't have anything to say. I have my rights. We found your warehouse full of crates of illegal foreign guns from highly probable arms dealing. That makes you a criminal, an international criminal at that. And criminals in my state do not have any rights. So before you decide to speak about what you have, make sure you say something smart and take a look around you first. <laughs> you think you know what's going on, but truth is you don't know half of what's happening out there. I'm here because I put myself here. You and your little team you have didn't do a goddamn thing to get me here. Now I may not have rights in your state, but as an accused suspect by law, I'm entitled to a lawyer and I want my phone call now. He's right. This is way too easy. Think about it. He's never been caught, but all of a sudden his associates dump a body on the city hall steps, knowing it could lead back to him. Not only that, but we did find him and those guns way too easily. It could just be that he finally slipped up. Knowing with them, it was too easy. Every step of the way that I studied him, he was meticulous and calculated. This was slapping in two pinpoints. They have me. As my lawyer, I need you to come get me out. We will come and get you when it's time. Dice said to hang tight. 
plan continues.